Saban Video proudly presents... <coughs> Funky Fables! Now a long time ago lived a clever young girl Who found herself walking through a wonderful world Where nothing around her was quite what it seemed As if all she saw was a part of a dream Once upon a time, in a land not too far away, in fact, it's three streets over and half a block up, two sisters were sitting under a tree. The television had broken down and their mother told them to go outside before they drove her crazy. The older sister had a book to read, but the younger girl, Alice, found herself with time on her hands. Oh, what am I supposed to do out here all by myself? We don't even have a mall, just a babbling brook. Uh, nothing ever happens in this neighborhood. Oh, my goodness, huh? this is absolutely terrible. <laughs> what in the world? I wonder where he came from. I just realized my watch has been running backwards. I'm going to be late. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, where are you going in such a hurry? I can't stop to talk. I'm already late. If I don't get to the castle soon, the queen will cut off my head. What queen? We haven't had a queen around here since Susie Hoppenpepper was named queen of the car wash. Wait, I'm talking to you. And so she lived happily ever after at the bottom of a rabbit hole. Hold on, that can't be the end of the story. We just got started. We'd better follow her down. That's odd. Maybe he's having a garage sale. Oh, I'm all turned around. I don't know if she's upright falling down or upside down falling up. Maybe I'm standing on my head. Hey, great, I was in the mood for orange marmalade. How rude! There's no marmalade left in this jar. I'll just put it back in this cabinet. Hmm, I'd better consider my situation. I've jumped into a rather large hole that appears to be a bottomless pit. At this rate, I might come over on the other side of the earth. A white rabbit jumped in ahead of me but disappeared. In fact, the only evidence that he even lives here is his furniture, which seems to be heading north while I'm heading south. Just when things looked hopeless, a jar of orange marmalade fluttered by. But the jar was empty, and that was very upsetting. Why, if I had some marmalade, I could have marmalade and crackers. If I had some crackers, oh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, how did I get myself into this mess? Ooh, ow! Now where am I? There's a light! That must be where the rabbit went. He doesn't seem to be here. He must be behind one of these doors. Oh, this is worse than the game show. My goodness, they're all locked. I wonder where he's hidden the key. Hmm? That's convenient. I wish I could make my homework appear that easily. It doesn't fit anything. Oh, I missed this one. Aha! I should have known it would be the last one I tried. Oh, what a beautiful garden! I'd like to go smell the flowers, but I can't get through the doorway. And I don't suppose a crash diet's going to be much help. If I try to crawl through and get stuck, they'll need a tow truck to pull me out. Hmm? Oh! I don't recall seeing this when I came in the room a minute ago. I wonder what it's for. I don't 
don't see any preservatives. The label says, drink me. Hey, pretty good. So what was the point of that? Unless it was a free sample of some new kind of soft drink. I get it. That was meant to shrink me so I can fit through the door. Uh-oh. I just remembered something important. I'm the size of an ant, and that key may as well be on the moon. Ugh. Ah! This place is starting to make me mad. Oh, I hope I don't wreck my new shoes. Ah! I refuse to let this table beat me. Ah! I'll never get out of here. Ah! Hey, what's the matter with you? You're just a big crybaby. No, I'm a little crybaby, and that's Problem. Ah! If you keep this up, you're gonna shrink your dress. She has a point there, and Mom won't take me shopping again until school starts. I've got to figure out some way to get that key without climbing the table. Huh? Oh, great. Now I'm supposed to stuff myself so I'll be short and fat? On the other hand, maybe this is not just a dessert. Yeah! Maybe if I eat this, then I'll get big again so I can get that key. Then if I drink from the bottle, I'll get small again so I can go through the door. That's gotta be it. That should be enough for now. Enough to get the key back. Nothing. Why doesn't it work? <laughs> Don't tell me I have to eat the whole darn cake. Ow. I think it's working! Oh! Ah, ah, oh. oh boy. You know something? This is becoming a real pain. Now I've got the key, but the bottle's gone. Which means I have no way of getting small enough to get through this door. I'm so big I could be the center on a basketball team. Why doesn't anything work out in this place? I knew I should have got that watch fixed last week. The queen is going to turn me into rabbit stew. Oh, wait, Mr. Rabbit, can you help me? Huh? I have to find a way to lose a few feet. Can we talk? It's a monster! Oh. Gee, he ran off so fast he left his fan and a glove. Well, it sure wasn't very polite of him not to try to help me. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Gosh, you can't relax for a minute around here. This is an emergency. I've lost my fan and glove. If I don't find them, I can't attend the big parade. Excuse me, Mr. Rabbit! Why are you wasting your time at the beach during a crisis? Well, I... I did... Your that... behavior is inexcusable. Go to my house and get my fan and glove before the queen cuts all our heads off. <sighs> okay? Ah! Oh, okay, okay! First, he won't have anything to do with me. Then, he wants me to fetch his fan and glove. What do I look like? Some kind of cross-country maid? I'm sure glad I don't have to pick up after him. He probably leaves carrot sticks all over the house. Hmm, I wonder if this is the right place. How many white rabbits could there be? There's nothing down here. Maybe he left them in his bedroom. What a lame brain. He left them right here on his dressing table. Huh? I wonder what would happen if I drank from this bottle. Maybe I'd become a beautiful movie star like Marilyn What's-Her-Name. All I know is everything I eat or drink in this place causes something unexpected to happen. So this time I'll only taste a little bit until I see what kind of effect it has. Oh, this is ridiculous! I just took a swallow! Ah! Help me! I'm stuck! Where? That girl, does she think I can wait around all day? <laughs> what are you doing in there? Quit playing around. I've got an appointment to keep. <laughs> Where are the gloves?
gloves and the fan I sent you to pick up. They're here, in the house. But you've taken over the house. I'll help. Good. I want you to climb down the chimney, get the gloves and the fan, bring them to me. You think you can handle that assignment? Sure, that shouldn't be too difficult. Hey, I'm sending someone to get my stuff. Don't move or the living room will end up in the attic. Here he comes. Gee, you're a big one, aren't you? How, how did you ever get in there anyway? Wow, here goes. <laughs> uh oh. Wow. <laughs> Terrific. I ask him to do a simple job and he takes off on me. Now what am I going to do? I was asking myself the very same question. This is all your fault. Ow! Ow! No! No! Hey, back off! Wait a minute. All the rocks he threw turned into candy. This one's my favorite. I'd better split. Now I'm so small, it'll take me forever to get back to that room. And besides, I might get lost in these flowers. I've got to figure out a way to get back to normal. The first step to normality is to become well balanced. Oh, that's just what I need. Psychiatric advice from a talking mushroom. Were you the one who said that? You know, pipe smoking isn't very good for you. Listen, could you stop long enough to tell me how to get back to my normal size? If you eat from the one side, you'll get bigger. If you eat from the other side, you'll get smaller. Eat what? The mushroom. Oh, thank you. That's very helpful. Can you tell me which side is which? I haven't the faintest idea. Well, can you give me a hint? Am I standing near the tall side? Oh, he's gone. I guess I'll just have to figure it out by myself. I'll get some from this side and this side. But which should I try first? Hmm. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Ah. 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 I'm okay. Hmm. I wonder if the white rabbit went in there. I'd better find out. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Hello, You're wasting Winnet. your time trying to get in. Why? Because I'm the one who answers the door, and I can't answer it since I'm out here with you. And the house is in an uproar, so no one inside would answer the door if they could hear you knock with the can't. Well, when will you be answering the door again? Not until someone knocks and asks me to let them in. Why don't you try again tomorrow? I'll be answering by then. It's coming along. Just a little more seasoning, I think. That woman's dangerous with a pepper grinder. Excuse me, may I ask you a question? <laughs> Aren't you worried about your baby being in the kitchen with all this pepper? It adds flavor to his personality. Isn't that right, you little pig? I don't think this lady's playing with a full deck. You're right. What harm can a little pepper do? Don't you have any experience with babies? Not really, except that I used to be one not too long ago. Then pay attention. Throw a baby. In the air. Throw it high. Grismal head. Hit the piglet. Starts to cry. Throw it higher. In the sky. Stop! You'll hurt the baby. If you're so worried about ah! it, you'll take it. People in this forest are not very considerate. They throw their babies around like they were a side of bacon or something. Hey, I can't take care of this kid. <gasps> the pig became a baby, which became a pig, which might have been a pig all along. That's weird. You're not getting confused, are you? What? How did you get up there? You'll find I turn up all over the place. I can see you're a very unusual animal. What kind of cat are you? Cheshire Cat. 
I've never heard of that before. Is it some kind of new breed? It's a cross between a chestnut and Worcestershire sauce. My grandparents were a walnut and a jar of mustard. I've never met anyone whose ancestors were a bunch of condiments. Yeah, well, you can't say that anymore. <laughs> huh? Oh, nice set of choppers. By the way, I meant to ask you, do you plan on playing croquet with the queen today? Actually, I haven't been invited by anyone, but it sounds like a very lovely thing to do. Perhaps I'll see you there? You'll have to look fast. <laughs> That's amazing! What a pretty house! I wonder if the rabbit stopped in here. Oh, rabbit! There's no place to sit! <gasps> what are you talking about? There are plenty of seats. Oh, you're not the white rabbit. That's right. How about some punch? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I don't see any punch. <laughs> That's because we don't have any. Then why did you offer it in the first place? That's very rude. Oh, yeah? What about coming in and sitting down when you're not invited? That's very rude, too! How do I even know it's your house? Can you tell me what day it is? What? Tuesday, I think. Hmm, in that case, it's our house! You don't listen! I told you to put that watch in the icebox! Yes, but you didn't tell me that's where you hit the butter! Would you care to have some more tea? How in the world could I have more tea when you never offered me some in the first place? You mean you can't have less tea! This is a very important point! Since you've had none, we can only give you more! And after all, what is a cup of tea, more or less? It's not as important as appreciating a beautiful painting. What painting? The one that hangs in the castle. There's a painting in the castle? Yes, have you seen it? I don't believe so. Then stop being so critical! You're not qualified to talk about it! Oh, goodbye! Those are the rudest people I've ever met. <laughs> well, I wonder where this doorway leads to. Oh, it's the first room I discovered after I fell down the hole. Hmm. And the key's still here. I hope I have some of that mushroom left to make me smaller. Now maybe I'll see where the rabbit went. Mr. Rabbit! Hey, what are you doing? Uh huh? Hey, baby, we're painting all the roses in the garden. Yeah, baby, the gardener planted all these white rose bushes by mistake. Uh, that's right, baby. And the only kinds of roses the queen likes are red ones. Uh, if she sees what's happened, whoosh, she'll cut off all her heads. What? She must be a terrible woman. Uh, listen, baby, I'd be careful what I say if I were you. Yeah, baby, if it gets back to the queen, you're in trouble. She'll order your head to be cut off. You know what I mean? Thanks, I'll watch it. See you later. All rise, the king and queen approach us. Who or what are you? I'm Alice, your majesty. I'm not surprised. Do you know how to play croquet? Yes. Then you shall join us, agreed? Thanks. To those of you who don't know croquet, I can assure you that flamingos and hedgehogs are not standard equipment. Begin! What a weird game! Wow! Here you go, baby. Uh, you'll need a mallet if you want to play. Did I mention I was allergic to birds? This is stupid. I hope I don't get any feathers up my nose. Disaster. <laughs> 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 
from? I said I might see you here. This game is a mess. It's all the Queen's fault. Oh, by the way, do you like the Queen? No, I don't. She's very rude and... <gasps> She's one of the nicest women I've ever met. No wonder vocal okay, player. It's time for the trial to start. Good. You'll find this interesting, Alice. Come along. Do I have to go? Did I mention I was allergic to trials? Are you allergic to having your head cut off? <laughs> Come to order, all you who are present. We will now begin the trial to determine who stole the Queen's pie. Looking around this courtroom, you can see everybody's a suspect. I've never seen such a collection of shady characters. The only thing that surprises me is the pie is still around. I would have eaten it and gotten rid of the evidence. That pie looks good. I wonder if they're going to serve it. <laughs> Who did that? You're guilty of disturbing the peace! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. It was me. You're very rude! I know, but I couldn't help it. The pie looked so good and I was so hungry. I, I gurgled. Take her out and cut off her head! Baker, dear, we're busy now. Read the particulars of the official complaint. The Queen of Hearts baked a rutabaga and turnip pie. When it was done, she put it on the windowsill. The smell made everybody sick. Then the Jack of Hearts came along and stole it. Very well. Read out the verdict. Not yet. We can't do that until we've called a witness. Do they have a witness? It doesn't matter if they do. They're going to cut off his head anyway. <gasps> oh. Mad Hatter, tell us everything you know. I got this hat for half price and it doesn't fit very well! I might have to take it back! Do you have a receipt for it? Tell the truth or we'll cut off your head! I had a receipt, Your Majesty, but I accidentally ate it for lunch! You're excused. What did he say? Bailiff, let's hear from the next witness. Would the Duchess please come on down? I believe she needed more pepper in the pie. I object. Yeah, she needed salt! No, <laughs> oh, 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 I got big again. Let me remind the witness of the rules. You can't testify if you're over four feet tall. I've never been over four feet tall. Don't you lie to us. You're too big for your britches. Whether you're big or small, you have to tell the truth. What do you know about this crime? I don't know anything at all. You expect us to believe that? Well, yes. Time for the verdict. The accused is guilty of taking the pie! He's, He's guilty. guilty! He's guilty! Take him out and save him. him! Ridiculous! This is a miscarriage of justice! There isn't one shred of proof that the Jack of Hearts took that pie! You can't question us! Palace guards! Take her away! Ah! Ow! Ow! Hey, cut it out! What is this? A game of 50 you pick up? Get away from me! You've been asleep for a while. Did you have a good dream? Well, I had the kind of dream you go see psychiatrist about. You really should write it down. You might be able to sell it to Hollywood and make a million bucks. Oh, yeah! And that's how Alice became rich and famous. She did the movie, got a TV series, and started her own amusement park. You know what she named it? Wonderland.